So, so I wonder if things could have gone any better for you today. Um, front row of the grid, start on the mediums, and Bottas just shading uh, the new boy. How, how do you feel? Yeah, it's a good result for the team. Uh, one and two, front row lockout. I think that circuit uh, with um, less than a minute lap time is always going to provide very close gaps. You can see uh, tens between P1 and um, P2, P3, maybe less than a tens. So I'm happy with the result. How has the integration been with the team, Toto? You've been obviously listening very closely this weekend. You've been on the pit wall. Has George taken over exactly where you expected and has the workload been shared between the both drivers? It's quite interesting because they are so different characters. Uh, Lewis obviously has been there for a long time, has so much experience, is the calm, composed guy. And uh, George is equally calm, but he's uh, much more chatty. So you're like, oh, yeah, this is different. Um, uh, and he's, he's quite serious. He, you, you would think he's a, he's a, a finance guy. But uh, yeah, he settled in well. He doesn't really fit into the car. And um, you're laughing because oh, you no, thought- you're, you're a finance guy. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I didn't want stage. to see accountant because that wouldn't have made accountants uh, <laughs> a, a good picture and neither him. So, yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, important people. Very uh, important people, I understand. So uh, I think he settled in well considering the circumstances. Uh, the track is new for everybody. And so I'm, I'm happy with his performance. Yeah, I was going to say, the way he's, he's come in, I speak to somebody in the team about expectations, and they said on a, on a Saturday, for Mr Saturday, getting within a tenth of Valtteri would be, would be good. I know there must be a, a fine balance between um, putting, I suppose, getting the best out of him, but not putting too much pressure on him. What, what have you told him about what needs to be achieved from the race tomorrow? We had a good chat this, um, for lunch at 7 o'clock in the evening. <laughs> Uh, with uh, James Bowles, and it was really to take all pressure off. I, I said to him that um, if you end up in the first four, second row of the grid, that's already a fantastic result. If a McLaren or a Ferrari jumps you um, and your P5 is equally great, nothing more is expected. And I felt that he's, he was walking off a little bit with more easiness. First time I've been missing Lewis for a long time, 14 years at a Grand Prix. Has he been in communication quite a lot with you guys? Has he been watching, listening, and have you given him, given him more access to be involved? Yeah, quite a, quite a lot of support. We have been uh, texting all the time, and, um, and uh, obviously it's, it's very difficult for a racing driver to be in a hotel room with, a, with Corona while seeing his car uh, drive, but he was very professional. And how is he today? Uh, I haven't asked him how, how he felt today because I think uh, it's a painful reminder all the time that you're in, in bed. But we encourage we might see him in Abu Dhabi, yeah? Yeah, I think there's all the chance if he tests negative, which we all hope, he's going to be in the car in Abu Dhabi and everything is back to um, normal business. Good day for you. Thanks, Thank Toto. You Appreciate much. your time.